Hey guys, I'm Carrot from Monitors.com, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Alienware AW3821DW Ultra Wide Gaming Monitor. So let's get started. As with any Alienware monitor, the stand is pretty well built. Obviously, it gives a pretty good range of motion, allowing the monitor to move up and down, tilt, and pivot side to side. On top of that, the stand is very thick and sturdy, although it is incredibly heavy, weighing at around 27 pounds. On the back, it comes with the usual RGB lighting, and there's actually a small RGB light underneath as well that can be toggled by tapping the bottom of this monitor. The monitor comes with two HDMI ports, a display port, four USB ports, and two auxiliary ports. The monitor is a 38-inch IPS panel screen. It's got a maximum pixel resolution of 3840 by 1600, a maximum refresh rate of 144 Hz, a response time of about 1 millisecond, and an average input lag of about 10 milliseconds. Overall, the color specs of the monitor are pretty good. It's got good gamut and color accuracy, as well as some good lighting. However, we did notice some minor issues in panel uniformity. Obviously, the main draw of the monitor is being an ultra-wide gaming monitor. Overall, I found this to be pretty useful. Most modern games do come with ultra-wide support, and a lot of them look pretty good at the high resolution. For some more technical games, it can often be useful to have the game open in a normal resolution, and then have other information pulled up on the internet or some other notepad alongside it. However, it should be noted that certain competitive games, like fighting games, require a 16:9 ratio in order to properly display hitboxes and information. If stretched, things won't look right and you might end up missing things, so you'll often have to play them in their native resolution and waste a lot of space. Final thoughts on the monitor. If you're looking for an ultra-wide gaming monitor, you really can't go wrong with this. It's got the usual Alienware standard of quality, and that includes aesthetic, stand, and specs. However, sitting at around $1,400, it is very expensive. Because of that, I would only recommend this monitor to people who are looking to splurge and get themselves a really nice high quality ultra wide. And for everyone else, I might recommend trying to find a lower resolution ultra wide or looking to just get two monitors instead. If you like this video or want more information, please check us out at www.monitornerds.com or click the link in the description below. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you'll always know when new videos come out. See you guys later.